What up, YouTube? Blockbuzz TV. I'm y'all boy, Smitty. Today, we finna talk about three reasons why NW Melly trial number two is gonna be harder than the first trial. Before we get into that, though, I need y'all help to grow the channel, man. I am less than 200 subscribers away from that 1K mark, man. Seeing the fact this is my first year blogging, I'm kind of geek, man. I want to say thank you to everybody that subscribed. If you're in a good mood, you're feeling generous, make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. But let's get into what y'all came to see. YNW Melly trial number one was cakewalk in my eyes. But this second trial is going to be way harder, man, for these three reasons. Number one is YNW Portland. Now, I know some of y'all are ready to stop this video and go watch something else. Y'all feel like Bortland was solid he didn't tell in the first trial. Why would he tell in the second trial? Well, in the first trial, Bortland was free. Bortland could eat what he want. He can call a female to come kick it with him if he want. He could watch whatever he wanted to watch on TV. He could see his family. All that's changed now. After Bortland caught that temper in charge, Bortland is locked up now. No more eating what you want. No more calling females to come see you. He's locked up. He got to go to sleep when they tell him to. He can only use the phone when they say he can. He can only take a shower when they say he can. For that reason, Borland is the biggest threat to Melly, man. Borland was there when the murder happened. Borland can really shed light on this case, man. And because Borland's freedom was taken from him, I believe that is the biggest problem for Melly going into trial number two. Second is Mariah Hamilton, YNW Melly's ex-girlfriend. Now, according to the prosecution, she already gave a statement. And the way she told the story, yeah, Melly was there when Juvia and Sack Chaser was killed because Melly called her right after the murders. He actually FaceTimed her through Snapchat, I believe. And she said YNW Melly was breathing really heavy. He had blood all over him. And he had her bring him clothes to y'all know who house, Fredo Bangs, man. Now that Bortland is locked up, there's nobody on the streets to tamper with this girl. She don't feel threatened because Bortland is now locked up. It's a good chance that she could possibly testify in this case. And the third reason is this Terrence dude. The dude who caught the tampering charges with Bortland and Melly. He didn't have anything to do with this murder trial. But now Melly just added him to this case. If this tampering charges gets added to this double murder trial, this new dude, Terrence, he's involved now. And the only thing Melly did was wrote him a note and had him call some people and told him what to say. We don't know why he's locked up. We don't know how much time this Terrence dude is facing. But I'm willing to believe if the, if the police come to this man with a sweet deal, we will let you go. All you have to do is admit that YNW Melly told you to call these people and had you tamper with these people. If the state get their hands on that boy and that boy tell on Melly, this case could be over before it even starts. Y'all got to remember, he's not YNW. He don't owe anything to Melly. He probably was just trying to be cool in the moment. Make a phone call for Melly just so he have a story to tell his homies when he get out. Hey, YNW, Melly wrote me a letter, bro. He had me call some people for him. Now that this man had caught another charge... It ain't no telling what he gonna do to try to get out of this, man. Blockbuzz TV, y'all get in the comment section and let me know what y'all think. Do y'all think I'm over-exaggerating? Or do y'all think these three people could really end Melly's life, man? Blockbuzz TV, y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out.